What's going on, Canes fam? Spring practice 2019 for the Miami Hurricanes is all finished up. The spring game is a wrap, and there is so much to talk about. This video is going to be short and to the point. We're going to talk stats. We're going to talk numbers for the spring game. And then I'm also going to cover just some, some big takeaways from the spring game this year. Now, keep in mind, before I throw these numbers out there, these are the big notable stats. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some things that I miss. This is not going to be absolutely everything. And you also have to keep in mind that the first team offense and the first team defense never matched up against each other in the spring game. And to let you guys know, they did uh, a, a point system uh, for offense versus defense. And the offense did win the day. They did win the spring game, coming out on top 35 to 32. And overall, the attendance was great. The crowd was loud. Everybody was into it. Uh, it was a little over 9,100 people there at the spring game. And I'd call that a success. So with all that out of the way, let's dive in. Let's talk numbers. Kicking this stat video off, of course, is going to be the QBs. Uh, Nikosi Perry was 9 of 13 for 145 yards and one touchdown. Tate Martell was 6 of 10 for 154 yards and two touchdowns. And Jaron Williams was 4 of 6 for 44 yards with one touchdown and one interception. Now, uh, I said that we're going to just talk numbers, but I do want to discuss the QBs real quick. Tate Martell uh, has improved a lot. Uh, he, he looked a lot more comfortable out of the shotgun. And overall, Tate Martell probably had the best day. Uh, he had some big runs with his feet. Uh, he looked competent. He looked confident. And I would say that out of the QBs for the spring game, he won the day. And you're going to see people giving different opinions on that between Perry and Martell because it was really a battle between those two guys in the spring game. But I'd have to give it to Martell in this one. And that just shows you guys that the, the QB battle is going to continue through the summer and through the fall because one, one day this guy's on top, the next day this guy's on top. And that battle is going to continue. I, I trust in Manny Diaz and Dan Enos. And I know that they're going to make the right decision. They see these guys day in and day out. But it, it, the competition is going to continue, and it, it's going to be a tough battle. Moving on to some receiving stats, you've got K.J. Osborne continuing to be a leader in that wide receiver group. Three catches for 105 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Mallory, three catches for 63 yards and one touchdown. And Peyton, three catches for 51 yards and one touchdown. A big takeaway from these stats, again, is K.J. Osborne stepping up being a leader, he's a vocal leader. Uh, he shows what he's made of on the field, always leaves it on the field. A really good athlete, a good pickup for us out of the transfer portal. Mallory is continuing to have just a huge year so far. Uh, he had an amazing catch, I believe from Jaron Williams. Uh, it was a fingertip catch in the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, he, his play has just been so good so far this year. And some rushing stats from the game. You've got Cameron Harris, formerly Cameron Davis, uh, 13 carries for 57 yards. DJ Dallas, 13 carries for 44 yards. And yes, you do have Tate Martell in there in the rushing category, seven carries for 18 yards. And again, that's something that Tate Martell brings to the table. Now let's talk about this big, bad defense that Miami has. Uh, linebacker Patrick Joyner had four tackles with two tackles for loss. Uh, Harvey had three and a half tackles and two sacks. Uh, Russo had three and a half tackles, two sacks. And can I just say, Russo is an absolute beast. That guy is going to wreak havoc this season. Patchen had three and a half tackles with one and a half sacks. Uh, Jordan Miller had two sacks. And James Murphy had one interception. And some of you guys are scratching your head. You're thinking, who's James Murphy? Don't worry. I did the exact same thing. Uh, the guy was actually a walk-on who mostly participated in special teams. But once Manny Diaz became coach, he is now a scholarship player. Uh, he has a ton of heart. He's showing a lot of improvement. And uh, the dude can ball out. After the spring game, Manny Diaz was interviewed, of course. 
and he really emphasized the importance of tight ends for Miami. And I love hearing that. I, I feel like over the past few years, we've not used the tight ends the way that we should. We've always had big, athletic, talented tight ends um, that could, could really help us out. And we've, we've just not utilized that talent. We've really not used them correctly in the way that we should. And Manny Diaz understands the importance of the tight ends, and that's going to be huge for us this year. And it, it's really good to see Mallory really picking up the pace and improving with Brevin Jordan out currently. And then Irvin has also improved. Uh, if you guys know, he's been dealing with injuries and honestly kind of getting into shape and he's improved a lot and that's a good thing to see so uh, once everybody is a hundred percent our tight ends are going to be so good this year I also found it kind of funny that uh, the Dan Enos interview after the game of course everyone all the people interviewing are going to say uh, Enos who, who's going to be the starting QB after this spring game of course it's up in the air. We don't know who it's going to be, but they did ask him, you know, do you have a feeling? Is there some guy that you really just in the back of your head that you think is just kind of ahead of everyone else? And Enos's response was quite humorous. He said that he he's kind of had a gut feeling, but the thing is, is he's had the gut feeling several times and it keeps changing. So obviously the QB battle will continue, like we said, through the summer and through the fall is going to be a tough decision for these coaches to make. I'm glad that I'm not the one making the decision. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. But it's it's a good problem to have. So overall, that's just a quick breakdown of some of the big notable stats from the spring game. Feel free to add anything down in the comment section that I missed. Again, those are the big ones. It's not going to be everything. A lot of you guys were actually there at the spring game and much respect to you for making the trip out there and showing your support and love for the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, and let us know if there's anything you saw that, that, that was big that maybe I didn't mention uh, that didn't make it into the video because you were there, so you saw everything. So leave a comment down below. And also maybe just let me know um, kind of what you are most looking forward to uh, about this season. Now that spring practice is over, we're going to get into summer and fall camps. We've got a lot of guys who are still not here yet. People were asking about uh, Headley, Louis Headley, the punter, his stats. They were asking about... Uh, Bubba Bolden. These guys are not here yet. It's going to be summer and fall guys coming in. Uh, so we've still got a, a lot of big players coming in that could make an immediate impact on this team. These, these, a lot of these guys could be starters this season. So we've got a ton to talk about. There's going to be a ton of live streams, more videos coming soon. I've got some some real crazy ideas, some things that I do not want to mention yet. I want to make sure they actually happen first before I start teasing you guys about some of these big video ideas, but just keep an eye out. There's going to be some big things coming soon. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown me so far this season. The Miami Hurricanes family is the best family in college football, period. Nobody can tell me differently. Remember though, guys, we are all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out.